Think. But no matter how gay his music is, young, straight, white men love Donald Trump. They see him as a macho, macho man, if you will. He eats red meat. He pretends to follow UFC. He's into crypto and sneakers and NFTs. He's a dude, a bro, and a boss all rolled into one. According to a recent poll from the New York Times, Trump is leading Harris among male voters by 17 points. But is he the strong alpha man these men believe him to be? Not according to one of the toughest guys I know he isn't. Fellas, we gotta talk. A lot of men seem to think that Donald Trump is some kind of tough guy. He's not. I mean, look at him. He wears more makeup than Dolly Parton. He whines like a baby. And the guy's afraid of birds. <laughs> Donald Trump had his daddy pay a doctor to say his will feet hurt so he could dodge the draft. Look at that gut. Like a garbage bag full of buttermilk. He sells imaginary baseball cards pretending to be a cowboy fireman. The guy's barely strong enough to hold an umbrella. I mean, look how he drinks water. <laughs> like a little pink chickadee. <laughs> He's got jugs, big ones, like Dolly Parton. He cheats at golf. He creeps around beauty pageant dressing rooms. You know that little dance he does? He looks like he's jacking off a pair of giraffes. <laughs> he's moody, he pouts, he throws tantrums. No, get those lights off! He acts like a five-year-old behind the wheel of a truck. He bends over for Putin. He's catting her on social media as a middle school bean girl. The guy needs help walking downhill. Almost there, Grandma. So this November, let's stop kidding ourselves. Donald Trump is afraid of rain of dogs, of windmills, Merle Street, and being laughed at. Um, Isn't it past your jail time? But mostly, he's terrified that real red-blooded American men will find out that he's a weak, tubby toddler. Mommy, right. take me home, mommy, I wanna go home. What's wrong, tough guy? Does someone grab you by the p <laughs> Boy, bitch. Hey, thank you. Oh, guys, you can still see the room. <laughs> uh, to be fair, anybody put up aside, uh, Dave Bautista is going to look a little bit less masculine. I'm not particularly a fan of the ad hominem attacks, you know, going after his weight. And, you know, we've had overweight politicians before. I'm from New Jersey and we had Chris Christie for a while and there's not, uh, you know, it doesn't get much, much bigger than that. But um, yeah, that was pretty devastating, especially when he goes into the reality of the situation, which is Trump is, is a complete fraud when it comes to everything, but especially when it comes to these like masculine things that apparently he stands for, like he's leaning into crypto and UFC and he's just sort of going into these circles where he's already liked and loved so that he doesn't have to actually face real criticism. Um, uh, he dodged the draft famously uh, due to burn bone spurs, which, um, you know, say what you will about that. So, yeah, Donald Trump is uh, absolutely the uh, antithesis of masculine. He's a whiny baby. He whines about everything. He complains about everything. He can't take a joke. He doesn't understand jokes in most circumstances. And people who understand this, uh, to people that understand this, it's, it's very, very clear. And um, yeah, that was a really excellent performance by Dave Bautista, just hammering him over and over and over again, literally and metaphorically with the uh, punching um, um, bag metaphor. So that was fun. That was uh, fun and funny. And uh, shout out to Jimmy Kimmel and Dave Bautista for putting that together. Uh, absolutely love it. Need more people to understand that. Spread that message around. Trump is uh, absolute phony um, when it comes to being masculine. And we can all see it.